Hello 110 Belfast Beavers, it's Carol here and today I'm going to show you how to sew a badge onto your uniform because you know that Linda is very fussy about getting your badges sewn on before you get any more so it's very easy. Right, I don't have a uniform because all my badges are sewn on but what I'm going to sew it on today is this is my son's pillowcase that I did for him years ago. So I'll show you how to put a badge on. Now, things you need are you will need obviously your badge, whatever badge is going on. You will need uh, needles, a needle, just one needle. Sometimes you can get them, you know, from uh, wee packets. You can get these free in the hotel if your parents have brought any. There's a needle in there, you get that. You'll need a pair of scissors, you'll need pins, a thread. And this is a, a threader, which I'm going to use today to make it a bit quicker. Um, the, normally what you would do is you would match the color of your thread to your outside. So, you know, I would, I go through my selection. I would probably pick, maybe that thread's pretty close, but I'm imagining that you won't have a big box of threads like that. So we'll just use a white thread. Okay, first thing you do is you need to pin your badge in the right place for um, for sewing. Now you need to check that it's all up the right way. So what I normally do is I will take a pin and I'll pin my badge in and then I'll check it to see that it's in the right place. That as you can see is not quite straight. You would like to get your little fleur-de-lis straight. So you'd unpin that and you'd pin it again in the right place. So you put two pins in, one at the top, one at the bottom. This is quite a big badge. But there you go, that's it pinned in place. Okay, now the next thing you need is your thread and you would pull, I don't know, that's about 12 inches maybe of thread. That's probably enough. Cut your thread. And then you would take your needle. Just your head ready. I am sorry, Lawrence. Take your needle and I have one of these um, very speedy wee Threaders. Now, Lawrence, are you zoomed in on this to see this? Because this is where you need to. Can, can you see that? Mm. Okay, this goes through your needle. This is what makes it quick. You put your thread through your threader because now it's become a great big hole instead of trying to push it through a wee hole. And then, are you watching? Pull your thread through. Okay, you got that? Lawrence, you're allowed to speak. Lawrence is here with me. He's the cameraman. Now, tie a knot. I wet my finger. Can you see this, Lawrence? Yeah. You wrap it around and you just twiddle it through like this. And there is your knot and your thread. Okay, got that? Now, so you just sew it on. Now, Lawrence, you're going to have to zoom in here for this so that they can see what I am doing. Your first, and that was a huge needle I picked. Your first stitch goes through your badge like that, all right? Pull it through. Tuck your knot in underneath, okay? Can you see Yeah. That? Now your second stitch goes right beside your first stitch, okay? But it comes out a little way down, right? And comes through, you've got to get it through the two layers and pull. So your second stitch goes through very close to you where your first before your stitch come out and comes out a little way down and out. And you pull it tight. In a little way, in right beside it, out a little way down and pull. In beside it and out. Okay? I'm gonna make these stitches a wee bit bigger. You have to go right through. Now I've got my fingers in underneath here, but you don't stab yourself. If you stab yourself and there is blood, cold water will take it out of your material and then go and get a plaster on and don't have any more blood. Now I'm just going to speed up a wee bit here. So it's in very close, as you can see. See how those stitches are sort of becoming almost invisible because you're going close to where you're coming out, but you're going far down on your next stitch. Close, far down. And that's all you do the whole way around your badge, in and out. Nice little stitches. Oh, missed it there. I'm making them too big and I'm missing it. See, and it's pinned in place so your badge isn't moving. In beside it, out a little way down. In beside it, out a little way down. And the whole way around. I'm nearly finished.
finished actually. There's a couple more we did. And beside it, right a little way down. And beside, right a little way down. You would do it a lot, lot neater than this. Oops, sorry. In and out. And a wee bit to go in. Can you still see this, Lawrence? Mm -hmm. Are you zoomed in here? And still in focus, I hope, yeah. They can see. My stitches are far too big. But. And if you had the right colour thread as close as you could get to what this is, you wouldn't even see these stitches. And if you were doing it the wrong way, if you were taking it across like this and out, you can see how messy it's going to be. Watch if I go across here and do it like that. See the mess of that? That's not what you want. You want it just in and out. Now, to finish off, sorry, I've just um, taken that thread out. I'm going to have to thread this needle again very quickly because I ripped that stitch out. Thread the needle with your threader through here. Like that, and then pull. There's a the threaded. Right, so when you're finished, you come back to your first stitch again. You take it through to the back. See, there you can see where the mess is. That's where you want the mess. You don't want the mess on the front. You want the mess on the back. You do a couple of stitches. One, two, and then you can make a wee knot in it by threading it through and pull. And that's it. Done. Cut your, cut your thread. Take your pins out. One, two, and there you go. Five sewing on. Okay, what are you going to do, Lawrence? Look to like, subscribe, and make a comment. And also, sew all your badges on. Okay, bye.